here's how you can get a brand new car for free. For those of you who are, aren't familiar, I put out and teach on a lot of topics around sovereignty, consumer law, trust law, common law, and all of the laws that basically pertain to financial literacy. When you walk into a dealership, there's a number of fraudulent things that they're doing right off of the bat that are violations of federal law, which are punishable by both time in prison for certain instances, as well as large fines, as well as you keeping your vehicle for free and never making payments on it. Two quick examples for you. Number one, when you walk into a dealer, they always want you to put cash down, right? Well, here's the thing. When you finance a vehicle, it's what's called a consumer credit transaction. And the definition of a consumer credit transaction is a transaction in which you're extending your credit in order to be able to engage in the contractual relationship, which means that cash is federally not allowed to be involved in the transaction. Uh -oh. Yet the dealer claims they need you to put cash down and they end up just pocketing that. Number two, if you dive into 15 USC 1605, the definition of a finance charge is, and I quote, the sum of all charges. Now, if you go to your documents on the last car that you bought and you look at the truth in lending brackets, which I'll show above, you see a section for finance charge and that amount is usually anywhere from one fifth to one tenth of the total price in which you're gonna end up paying when it's all said and done. But wait a minute. The finance charge is defined by federal law written by Congress as the sum of all charges. So why are you paying anything in addition to the finance charge? Those are just two federal laws that lenders and dealerships are constantly breaking that you can use in order to get a free car.